Hi there. My name's Ron Gula. Today I would like to talk with you about the term data care. Data care was a term coined by my wife, Cindy Gula, when we were reflecting on our past 25 years involved with cybersecurity companies and the intelligence community, and we realized that the term cybersecurity was limiting the impact that we could have as an industry. Now, this is, this is going to be kind of hard to hear for people who live and breathe every day in this exciting field, but the term cybersecurity to non-cyber people is not that inviting. It's certainly not something that's easily recognizable, like the term pilot or architect or lawyer or doctor. The term cybersecurity often implies that it's somebody else's problem. People who are not technical, they kind of wave their hands and say, well, I have a firewall, I have antivirus, I've got somebody in IT who takes care of that for me. The term cybersecurity is also, we've also failed as an industry to attract a diverse workforce. Now when we need more people than ever, young women, African Americans, veterans, they are not turning out in droves to this career field, which is an amazing career field. And finally, the term cybersecurity does not inspire personal responsibility. We want to help change this, and we want to use the term data care. Now, the term data care, Sunim was very adamant about, about choosing this because it's very, very similar to the term healthcare. And as the general population, it's a much easier term to relate to than cybersecurity. Think about how complex our healthcare system is. We learn about CPR and Band-Aids and taking vitamins and exercise. And we also have brain surgeons. We have organizations like CDC. We have the health insurance. We have a lot of different experiences with a very, very complex process of keeping our health. Cyber is not much different. But when you say cybersecurity or cyber in general, it becomes harder to relate to. The term data care instantly makes it personal. If you have somebody, if you ask somebody, do you have cybersecurity? Like I said before, maybe they have a firewall. But if you say, do you have data? Do you care about your data? You instantly make this conversation very, very personal. And this applies to where they're at, whether it's a small business, their home, a public board, a private board, or even a politician. The term data care is also a lot easier to recruit for. We are not putting the entire defense of the country on the person who's entering into their first IT job. But if you listen to a lot of cybersecurity spokespeople, we always talk about combating the Russian and Chinese attackers. I do this a lot in my own videos here on this YouTube channel. But it makes it a lot more entry level. And it also, I think, aligns with a, be a better public policy strategy for cyber about having an IT workforce that knows about cybersecurity versus a cybersecurity workforce who thinks they know a lot about IT. Now, another thing that the term data care does, it makes it more inviting to the underrepresented. I'm specifically talking about African Americans, uh, women, people who are elderly and just try, try to get into this career field. One of the experiences we've had with the Gula Tech Foundation, our first grant was to increase African American, uh, African American engagement in cybersecurity. We had a number of applicants actually tell us that the word security implied policing, and that was simply a non-starter with, with, with those communities. And that's just that was shocking to us, but it, it's, uh, again, cybersecurity means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, and the word security means, you know, for folks who've had a, their communities impacted by over-policing and over-security, over-monitoring, that is uh, very insightful. Data care also says you don't have to be an expert on day one. When I describe my career I've had in cybersecurity, or I hear other people who try to share their experience, you know, they're trying to relate, you know, what, what, what happened with them and how they got to be where they're at. But it often, you know, you're, you're often kind of trying to communicate the fact that you've invented some things, you've, um, you know, developed policies on your own. This field is so young you're basically dealing with people who are like the aviators in the past and who are forging their way that's out there. Now that's very exciting to the people who invented the internet and people who are perfecting cybersecurity on a daily basis, but to trying to attract new people into this, it's not the same message that pilots and architects and lawyers and doctors are, are sending. 
And uh, I think we need to be more open to getting more entry-level jobs and treat them like they are the front line instead of the last line. Now, what can you do? Now, if you're going out and you're talking in the public, you need to engage minorities. We need to have a message that makes them welcome and invited, and you have to be very purposeful. When you're trying to raise awareness and you're talking to seniors or juniors or you know non-technical people, remember your audience. Keep it personal. Keeping things personal is the best way to engage people and make them feel not only wanted, but they have a sense that they can protect their own data, their corporate data, and their communities. Now, we've had some people that, uh, that are out there picking up on the term data care. One I'd like to call out is the National Cryptological Foundation. They've released two different books, one targeted for seniors, one targeted for, for juniors. They both speak about data care and they give plain speaking examples of how not only what actions you can take to protect your data, but what kind of careers you might have if you want to enter into this career field. Once again, data care. If you like this, steal it, talk about it, change the logo. We think this is a better way to talk to the general public than cybersecurity. We'd love to hear what you have to say. If you want to engage with us more, we are on LinkedIn, we are on YouTube, we are on Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm Ron Gula. I hope you enjoy your career in the data care industry. Thanks for watching.